Hey guys, it's Kelsey and back with another scrapbooking process video. Today I have the Scraptacular Cropping Clubs challenge for this week, which is to do layers, which you know I love. And this goes perfectly with my scrap lift. This is for Mercy Tiara's uh, winter inspiration challenge series. They extended the deadline, so this is Crystal's layout. This is the one I super duper fell in love with. Super cute, love the colors, love the textures, love the layers. And I knew I had to scrap lift this one, so I was super excited when I saw that they extended the deadline and I had time to do it. So I just pulled it up on the phone there. The inspiration um, challenge that she decided to do was, okay, that was Billy burping if you heard that in the background. <laughs> Excuse you, sir. She decided to do the uh, mood board challenge you can see on the right side of my phone there next to her layout, which is the one that was super bluey. Um, I really like the way she interpreted it. She took that coffee cup and used it kind of that way. I'll link her process video if you want to see how she did it. Hers turned out super, super cute. Um, and so you should definitely go and see her process video for that one if you haven't already seen it through the hop. Uh, but I am really trying to mimic it almost exactly. If I had all the same supplies she had, I probably would have tried to do it piece by piece. Uh, <laughs> because I loved it so much. Uh, mine is going to end up looking a little different. Again, she used a landscape same as Moira's and I have portraits for some reason. <laughs> so um, it does end up looking a little wonky. Um, but I'm really dissecting everything she did on her layout and trying to mimic it best I can because I super duper loved how it turned out. So I have those wood grain pieces on the corner. I have that torn polka dot on the upper corner. I'm um, just using a black and white patterned border strip on the bottom corner. And then I'll start working on the pieces around my photo. <laughs> Billy's staring at me super awkwardly. <laughs> Go lay down. <laughs> and I'm back with uh, with uh, Crate Paper's Little You collection. Haven't worked with that one in a while. Um, but I knew this was the perfect layout to really use a 6x6 six six pad and scraps. I don't think, I, I mean, I, other than the background, I didn't use any full sheets. They were all scraps those basically the only 12 by 12 pieces were the two border pieces I used for this scallop here and the black scallop on that bottom corner the rest of it is just little you six by six paper pads so <laughs> this is a great stash busting uh, <laughs> layout to do I thought about pulling this floral in I end up not using that that's from the gather collection that will get used up another time. I really liked this animal print one because it had wood grain, so it brought the wood grain from the corners into the middle. Um, and then I liked this black and white polka dot. A few of her layers were black and white, so I definitely wanted to have that represented. Uh, there aren't really any black and white uh, patterns in the Little U collection other than maybe the lion. Uh, so I wanted to pull that one polka dot in <laughs> before I really layered up the Little U papers. This is when Bennett was maybe, I think he was uh, two weeks, a week and a half. This was early, early on. Um, I mentioned previously that my mom would babysit like until two and three in the morning so my sister could try and sleep a little bit at night. And so this was taking very, very late at night while my mom was babysitting and Bennett, it just has the hugest grin on his face. <laughs> so I definitely wanted to make sure to scrapbook this one. It was a little dark, so the photo that she took turned out a little grainy, but it's still worth getting the memory recorded. It's okay that it's grainy. I'd rather it be in the scrapbook. <laughs> and his little face is just so adorable. <laughs> but I'm just trying to really stagger all these photos. If you look at Crystal's layout there, I zoomed up on her layers. They're super offset. You can really see all those different corners, and I just love how it looks. I usually don't do uh, layers that exaggerated, but it looks so cool, and I really like the way she did it on hers. So I'm trying to mimic that, exaggerate the angles a little more, and I think it turns out super cool. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to cheat the system a little just because um, I have uh, awkward scraps left with those big circle chunks taken out and <laughs> these smaller pieces so I'm trying to figure out how I can layer them up um, without them looking awkward so. <laughs> It comes together. It takes me a while to get my layers figured out just because I, I was trying to figure out how to get that, that look. <laughs> and you'll see I do have some gaps that I end up covering up just to try and make it look like there's larger pieces than there actually are. But it all works out. We get scraps used up, so that's important. I 
I found this little triangle piece and it's the perfect size to span that gap. So that's going there. It wasn't an intentional design element. It does point to Bennett, which is convenient. Um, but I really only put it there to cover that gap. So <laughs> um, it all worked out though. I, I really wanted to use that cut apart piece that says I love you this much. Um, but I couldn't really get it to work with my layers. You see me using my scissors to pull off the backing of that double-sided tape. I have my nails on again. I get my nails done pretty much only when we go on vacation. <laughs> so I still have them from our trip and I cannot peel off double-sided tape with them. So you'll see me use those scissors to try and peel off those ba the backings. <laughs> I really like how this is looking so far. I am starting to notice that it's getting very top heavy because all my layers are fanning out at the top and then they're all converging at the bottom. So I do try and address that and even it out a little more. <laughs> and then she did have a super cute bow on her layout as well. So I brought in my other pleather uh, gold bow. You see I'm just using a branding strip there to try and tuck another layer in on the side. <laughs> I'm just trying to span it behind that one corner so it looks like a longer piece. I just saw with the arrow on that one side and I really like the aqua tealy color. I really wanted it mimicked on the other side of the photo as well, so that's why I'm trying to get it over there. <laughs> And then I really like adding that bottom piece on the bottom helped uh, even it out a little bit. <laughs> it helped with the top heaviness. And I had these sweet little gold doilies, so I thought about uh, incorporating one of those to help balance the bow. Uh, but they were a little too yellow. And then I had uh, Giselle sent me some doilies and they were sitting right in front of me. <laughs> and she sent me this really cool, it's kind of snowflakey gold, uh, gold foiled doily. Um, so I was like, oh, perfect. It like matched the gold. Perfect. So I was like, done. That's it. That's the one I'm using. <laughs> so I just put those on the corners. Um, I wanted to tag over on the side with some text. She, Crystal had book paper on hers, which added a super cool layer. She used a lot of cool textiles in her layers, which really helped amp up the texture. And I was so in love with that. I didn't quite have the materials she used though. Um, but I think the tag helps a little bit, brings that text in, brings some more black and white. So that's the best way I had to kind of mimic that. Um, I did do what she did as well though. I took a scallop and fussy cut it and I'm going to use that as my lines for my journaling. I'm even trying to use the same amount and sizes and stagger them the same way because hers is just so freaking cute. Like don't fix something that's not broke, right? <laughs> I just loved her layout so much. <laughs> And I am going to use my Tombow Mono Multi. I'm going to let it dry a little bit so it's not permanent just in case I need to wiggle them around a little bit. I'm not quite sure what wording I'm going to use so I don't want to permanently stick down the lines <laughs> when I don't know um, how long my journaling is going to be. But it ends up working out. <laughs> and now I'm just sticking some wood grain washi over on the right side just so I have a little bit more over there. I'm basically just writing that my mom is babysitting Bennett and that he's giving her some big grins. <laughs> I didn't really have anything for that shorter bottom line so I just wrote the date out long ways so that it filled up that gap. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of gold how you swap color shine to bring that gold in a little bit more and that is my finished layout. So here are some close-ups. Make sure you check out Crystal's original. Hers is super duper cute. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Oh hey, kill a kick video going live tonight at midnight. Get prepared for April, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye.